What's up guys? Welcome back to Oak Abode. Like a true newbie, I recorded this entire video speaking to the camera and failed to record any audio. So I'm gonna go ahead and just walk you through what happened when we used a steam mop on our hardwood floors. Everything I'm about to talk about is already spelled out in a blog post on our website. So if you guys prefer to read rather than watch, you can just click the link in the description. That'll take you right to our website where I write about everything that we noticed when we used a steam mop on our hardwood floors. So as always with regular mopping, you do want to vacuum your floors thoroughly before you go ahead and use the steam mop on your hardwood floors. If you guys are already following us on Instagram, you know we were pretty obsessed with our new steam mop. Um, you also know that we are pretty protective of our hardwood floors despite letting our dogs scratch it up because they're special. Um, we otherwise don't want to use anything that would really outright damage them. Um, and I also can't stand mopping. So when we learned about the steam mop, I was pretty anxious to give it a try. I'd heard really good things from people who'd been using a steam mop on hardwood floors for years without any issues. Now, I didn't do a whole lot of research before I used the steam mop on hardwood floors, um, and so we'd been using the steam mop for about four months, and I was absolutely in love with it. However, what happened is when I wanted to write a blog post about how much we love using a steam mop on our hardwood floors, I came across a lot of articles that said you are never supposed to do this. Basically, the argument is because the mop uses steam instead of water, that the steam tends to seep through the cracks in the hardwood floors more than regular water, and that it can cause damage, buckling, and warping over time. Here is kind of an example of some of those cracks, especially in hardwood floors that have been around for 100 years, they're not going to be perfectly sealed. So when I read this, I kind of freaked out and I assumed that I basically ruined our hardwood floors, pretty much assumed that we were going to need new floors all around. However, as it turns out, um, I haven't seen any damage and when I did a bunch of research online, I actually couldn't find one single real life example of someone who did experience buckling and warping from steam mops specifically to their hardwood floors. There's a lot more information about that on the blog in terms of proof and in terms of fake photos that were provided by websites that claim this would happen. So if you're interested, you can kind of check that out. As of right now, we feel pretty safe saying that we are going to keep using our steam up on our hardwood floors. One thing I noticed on these websites that said you can't use steam mops on your floors, they actually also said you shouldn't use any kind of water at all. Um, and that's totally unrealistic for us. We have dogs that track mud in and out all the time. We are also still remodeling our house, which means we get a lot of dust and debris on the floors. And it's more important to us that we keep it clean rather than grinding it into the floors. It's unrealistic and not cost effective for us to be using Swiffer systems and the like. Before we were using water on our hardwood floors and I actually feel more comfortable now knowing that we're using less water when we're using the steam mop instead. We are implementing some common sense measures. For example, we don't use the highest level of steam when we clean the hardwood floors. And we also don't let it hover over the hardwood floors too long in any one spot. Um, really just long enough to pick up the dirt and debris. Again, if you're familiar with our house, you know that our 100-year-old hardwood floors were inlaid by hand. They go in all sorts of different directions. Um, ideally, you do want to mop with the grain of the wood. That's not necessarily always what happens. Um, like right here, I kind of just wanted to get this corner done with. I wasn't totally careful, but as a general rule of thumb, we try to mop with the grain of the wood. So like I mentioned before, one big thing we noticed when we used a steam mop on our hardwood floors rather than hardwood floor cleaners like Bona um, is that I noticed the floors stay cleaner for longer and I think this is partly because the detergent residue left on the floors will attract dirt, that's how detergent works. Um, and by using steam instead, I actually am able to walk around in bare feet and socks, which I was never able to do before, even with mopping the floor two to three times a week. Now I actually mop a lot less and it is a lot less strenuous when I do. 
Even though it's not pictured in this video, I do use this steam up on our laminate flooring. If anything, I am most concerned about using the steam up on laminate flooring rather than using the steam up on hardwood flooring because it's not sealed quite as well and because laminate doesn't take moisture as well as hardwood. However, even with the laminate flooring, I haven't seen any issues as of yet and I will be sure to update you guys if we do start to notice any sort of warping or buckling with the laminate flooring. Of course, steam mops are best used on tile, so we do use a steam mop in our tile kitchen. We foolishly put in light colored tile and light colored grout, which we're going to replace pretty soon, um, but the steam mop does a much better job keeping everything clean than the regular mop did that we were using. This is where the dogs track in um, mud and they kind of slobber because this is where they eat their food as well. So you can see that it picks it up pretty quickly um, and then you're not necessarily tracking the same water all over the floor. When this cloth gets too dirty, all you have to do is switch out the cover and then you just wash them in the washing machine. So we also love not using as many chemicals on our flooring. This video is not sponsored in any way. Uh, we just felt the need to tell our side of the story because um, we noticed a lot of old wives tales being circulated on the internet, but we haven't yet met anybody or found a single photo of somebody who did experience hardwood flooring damage because of a steam mop. Hopefully this is a bit helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below.